What's the difference between Alzheimer's disease and dementia? Perhaps you've been confused by these terms in the past or mistakenly thought they were the same thing. Well, you wouldn't be alone because knowing the difference between Alzheimer's disease and dementia can be tricky, but it's actually not too hard to understand. In a nutshell, it's like the difference between shortness of breath and asthma. Shortness of breath is not a specific disease. It can have many different causes and asthma is just one of them. Likewise, dementia is not one specific disease. It's a combination of symptoms that has many different causes, including Alzheimer's disease. Still sound a bit confusing? Okay, think of it like this. You go to your doctor with shortness of breath. To find the cause, she listens to your chest to see if it's due to asthma or pneumonia. And then she checks your heart to see if your breathlessness is caused by heart failure or a very rapid heartbeat. She even asks if you've been worried in case your breathing difficulty is anxiety related. After her examinations, she concludes that your shortness of breath is actually a nut allergy. Similarly, when dealing with dementia, your doctor needs to figure out the underlying cause. And while Alzheimer's disease is the most common cause of dementia, it's not the only one. Dementia can also be caused by vascular changes in the brain, Parkinson's disease, Lewy body disease, vitamin deficiencies, thyroid gland problems, chronic brain infections or medications. Even a very deep depression can sometimes look like dementia. Which means if someone you love has dementia, it doesn't necessarily mean that they have Alzheimer's disease. And that's very important for your doctor to establish. Because some causes of dementia, such as infection, medication reactions, an underactive thyroid gland or vitamin deficiencies, can be reversible with the right treatment. So figuring out the cause and a plan of action could improve your quality of life. And that's why if you or your loved one have the symptoms of dementia, you need to see your doctor to find out the underlying cause. <laughs>